Hey y'all, it's Kate from LoneStarSouthern.com and welcome to my March Favorites video. This also is going to have some February Favorites sprinkled in there, but uh, because why not? It's kind of like you're getting a two-for-one deal, right? Which are my favorite kind of deals, especially if fast food is involved. Um, let's go ahead and get started. For my first favorite, I have a question for you. Do you ever walk into a store and you see something that you absolutely do not need? Like you have zero use for it, but you know you have to have it. <laughs> so this pom pom tassel keychain, I'm I'm really 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 in love with it. I found it at this one of my favorite boutiques in Dallas. It's called Dear Hannah. It it, it makes me so happy. Anyways, just like tell me that's not the happiest thing you've ever seen. And it makes finding my keys super easy. Yay for being mature and making wise adult decisions, Kate. You're doing great. Next up is a styling product, and y'all are going to laugh. I saw a picture, not a picture, a straight up ad in a magazine for this sky high volume volumizing mousse, and the girl <laughs> had really gorgeous hair, and so I thought I should probably buy that so I can have hair like that. Well, usually doesn't work. But I've actually loved this. I naturally have pretty thick hair, and uh, not crazy thick, but this just gives it a little extra body, and it styles it a little bit easily. I just feel like I have really full hair when I use this stuff, so whenever I get out of the shower, I'll like pump one little squirt into my hand, and rub it through my hair, and then blow dry it, and it works wonders. So if you want to add some volume, some big Texas flair to your hairstyle, I recommend this really good. Up next, because who doesn't like an off-the-shoulder pink pom-pom back top? If you're following me on Instagram, at Lone Star Southern, you may have seen a pink tassel cover-up I wore last summer that I still wear and love to this day. This is by the same owner, Sundress, and I will link this exact top below. So here's the front. It's just like a typical white top with little tassels, and this is just a bracelet that's attached, so don't let that confuse you. But then the back is this split back with these pom-poms, and it's the perfect summer beach shirt. Sundress sells out super quick, so I'd, I'd snatch this up if you know you need it. Another favorite of mine this March, are you so confused right now? So let me clarify, I have started taking horseback riding lessons again, yay! Y'all, this has been absolutely 100% one of my favorite things about March. And um, I grew up riding English, which is like the jumps that you see, um, and the people in these types of hats. Last two years of high school and all through college, I didn't take lessons, and I've just started back up, and I had my first jumping lesson actually yesterday, and it has just been incredible. It was just a good reminder to make time for things you love, because I forgot how much joy it gave me, so the horse I ride is tattooed, and we have so much fun. I usually Snapchat it on my blog Snapchat, which is Lone Star Snaps, um, every Tuesday, I believe. So, be sure to follow along if you want to see more from that. But that has been a super fun adventure. Splurge time. What on earth do we have in here? Oh, you know, just these perfect uh, tassel tie-up platforms. I had had my eyes on these ever since I saw them in the Nordstrom catalog. I want to say in, in January even. They were kind of pricey, so I was like, ugh, I love them, but I'm going to hold off until the shop bought sale came along and I scored them for 25% off, thinking they're just so cute, but they have turned into absolutely my favorite formal shoe because they are so comfortable. I don't know if you can see this, it has like a one inch platform and it's like cushiony. I have worn these to weddings, I've worn them on dates. <laughs> kidding. And they have never once hurt my feet. Not once. And that is truly something I can't say for a lot of shoes. They're pretty high. It's like a one inch platform. It's a six inch heel. Five inch heel maybe. Anyways, they're the cutest things and they come in tons of colors now. So again, I'll link them below. So the past few weekends, randomly, I have been on a bunch of travels. And nothing intense or crazy, but um, just like weekend trips here and there. I went to a wedding um, this past weekend actually, which was Kind of fun in Midland, Texas, and then I went to my lake house a couple weeks ago. So a huge favorite of mine has been my John Hart duffel bag. Backstory: John Hart is absolutely one of my favorite Texas brands. It is through and through a Texas brand, and if you're from Texas, I'm sure you've seen this before. But basically, they're a leather goods company that makes these incredible, high-quality 
and leather items. And it's a big deal to give John Hart grad presents and for like high school graduations and college graduations and stuff like that. Anyways, all the stuff they have is so cute. And this is my new duffel. Um, it has been the best thing to travel in. Um, look at all these apartments. It's super spacious. I'm not sure if you can see in here really. I can fit so much in here and it's the cutest color. I mean, I, I really haven't seen a cuter duffel bag. They have mint, they have a cute coral color, a pink. Again, I'll link it below so you can see it. But good idea for graduation presents um, if you are giving or receiving. Y'all know I love my country music, so I would have to say a huge favorite for March has been this new playlist. It's called Texas Country slash Red Dirt. And it's not the pop country you hear on radio stations these days, which I love. I'm, I'm not saying anything about that. I'm all about it. <laughs> but it's more like Josh Abbott band. Um, Turnpike Troubadours, who else is on here? Uh, Randy Rogers Band, Pat Green, a lot of like real true Texas country, more traditional country sounding. I've been rocking out to it. I'll link this one below. It's the Texas Country Slash Red Dirt by, is it by? Scott Mead. And I have been listening to it nonstop, especially with this pretty weather. There's something about like springy, pretty weather and country music that just fits perfectly. So check that out if you're a country fan. If not, don't, you'll hate it, <laughs> but I've been loving it so far. For my final favorite for March, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I have had a couple of requests asking to do videos kind of more faith-centered. In past videos, I've definitely talked about how that's just, well, the most important part of my life, and it's something I'm never going to separate from vlogging because it's just who I am. So, in that vein, I want to do one of the favorite kind of little lessons I feel like the Lord has taught me over the past month, um, and I get it, if faith is so not your thing, awesome. I'm going to go ahead and, and share it with you. It's kind of weird and kind of personal, um, but I'm excited to do it, and I'm interested to see y'all's reactions. More than anything, I just hope it encourages you. Now that I've made the weirdest introduction to probably the most simple thing around, let me just go ahead and tell you what a cool thing I've, I've learned lately is. I was reading in Matthew 14, um, and it's like 22 through 33. Basically, what's going on in this story is Jesus and his disciples have been preaching all day, and nighttime rolls along, and Jesus says, hey disciples, get in a boat, y'all go sail along on your way, I'm just going to hang out and pray here on the shore by myself for a little bit. So, sure enough, the disciples get in their boat, and they're sailing along on this night, and it says a huge storm comes and they're all terrified and freaking out. Um, and lo and behold, they see Jesus just chill out there walking on the water. Uh, and Peter says, Lord, like, if it's your will, I have faith, let me walk on the water. Jesus is like, okay, come on out. Sure enough, Peter gets out and walks on the freaking water. So cool. Uh, but the scripture says, when he sees the wind, he becomes afraid. And so he stops looking at Jesus, right? The person he's walking out on the water to, and he looks down um, and around at the storm around him, and he gets afraid. And so he loses faith and he starts sinking. And he says, Lord, save me. Um, and this is what I thought was so cool. Um, so here we go, verse 30. But when Peter saw the wind, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and took hold of him, saying, Oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? And here is the part that I really keyed into. And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased. And those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. So you see this man who's afraid in the middle of a storm. He starts losing faith in the Lord, who's right there, right? And he cries out to the Lord um, and says, Lord, save me. And immediately, Jesus reaches out his hand, okay? So immediately, Jesus has Peter. But here's a little detail that stuck out to me for the first time in however long I've been alive and heard this story over and over again. Jesus, is, they're out on, in the water, and Jesus holds his hand and gets him out. And they're walking on the water back to the boat together. But Jesus doesn't calm the storm until he's back in the boat, right? So there's this whole time where the wind is still going crazy, the waves are still going crazy, and Peter and Jesus are walking back together to the boat in the middle of this crazy storm. What stuck out to me was the fact that Jesus totally could have calmed the storm the second Peter cried out for help, right? But he didn't, and I think there's a purpose to that. It says he didn't do it until they were back in the boat. So Peter had all this time 
where the Lord heard his prayer and he helped him immediately, but he didn't cause the storm to go away just then, right? Peter still had this moment where he had to walk closely with the Lord in the middle of the scary storm. Um, and I thought that this was a really cool encouragement for those of us Christians who may find ourselves and you may find yourself in a period of hardship right now, a storm, if you will. Um, I know I was certainly in this at the beginning of this year, and I found this to be true. I called out to the Lord um, for help, and He immediately took my hand, and I felt that. But that didn't mean the storm went away completely. That didn't mean the second I cried for help, you know, He solved everything. What it did mean was that He was right there with me, holding my hand through the storm. And eventually, He did take me to the boat, and I'm there in the boat, um, and the storm has ceased. I'm worshiping the Lord for His goodness and His faithfulness. But there was that time uh, when the Lord was with me, but the storm still wasn't over. It was still going. If you feel like you're in the middle of a, a trial and, and you feel like there's no way the Lord's listening to me, I've been calling for help and He hasn't helped me, I want you to take a good hard look um, and pray and think through and be diligent to see if the Lord has maybe not completely taken away um, the trial you're in, but I want you to open your mind to see if there have been ways He's walked right beside you. And also, if, if you're in the middle of a storm and you haven't even considered asking the Lord for help, uh, maybe faith isn't a part of your life, or maybe it's just something you haven't done in a long time and you feel awkward, or maybe you feel like you've walked away and um, you're not a good enough disciple to call on the Lord. Those are all lies. Y'all, the Lord loves each and every one of you. And He wants nothing more than to hold your hand the second you call out and walk you through the storm so you don't have to do it alone. You don't have to sink and be overwhelmed by life. You have someone right there who's going to take your hand and walk through with you. And I'm like really overwhelmed by that. Um, how cool, right? Like <sighs> to be able to go through life knowing that whatever comes at you, you have someone who will walk through it with you. It's cool. For those of us you who know, believe in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. So that is my kind of final um, favorite for March. I'd love to hear y'all's thoughts on that. It's been a great month, y'all. It has been so much fun. There's a lot that's been, I don't know, I feel like it's just been a month of blessing, which is really great. Um, and I hope it has been for you too. That is my prayer. As always, thank y'all so much for watching this video and just watching these videos. Comment below with any questions you have. Um, I'll link everything in this video below. And I hope y'all have just the best day ever and I'll see you around here soon. Okay, talk to y'all later.